Alright guys, um, this is just a video about what I do to, well, make my game look the way I do, um, also how it performs the way it does. So that's, the first part of the video is going to go over mostly my BF4 settings, right? Um, then I'll just show you the config, and then some more things I do, then, you know, in my opinion help and like game feeling and whatever they're just nice things in my opinion um yeah so let's just get started oh yeah also at the end i'll just show my hardware configuration and my overclock settings though they they're pretty nice you know they're nice um yeah let's get into it for the mouse inventory, I use 4 and DPI 11%. This is all personal, whatever you use here, it's nice, it's fine for you. As long as it works, you know. The one thing I would do recommend using is uniform soldier aiming. That's like the biggest, like the nicest thing, to be honest. Though, what it exactly does is, you know, it changes the FOV. Or like, your sense according to the FOV, so it like scales. Um, which is... Really nice, in my opinion. It's really nice for muscle memory as well. Um, the coefficient. It's the value. For example, I play 1366 by 768. It's not quite 16 by 9. But basically what you do is you take this value, for example. Um, 1366 divided by... 768 and all and i get the value of 1.778 meaning i'll put the coefficient to 178 which is you know a resolution basic resolution dependent people that play 16 by 10 it's 160 the people that play 4 by 3 it's 133 i believe so the default one it'll be default on 133 then these gameplay options are mostly made for me. Like, I like, this is the way I like them. I'll just go, go like slowly over them. Just pause the video if you can't, if you're on console or whatever. Uh, though there's a few things I kind of wanted to increase. Which being inventory hut, I believe. And player status. I think this is it. Yeah, yeah they're made thing look better. I don't know why, but anyway. I'll just go all, over all of them. I actually recommend using 100 meters on every map except for locker. 50 meters is nice on locker, but 100 meters is the best. And then you can just use, you know, scale out the way you want it. This also depends on the resolution, just play whatever you want. Or like, use whatever you want. Which I think I need to use 300%. Yeah, I guess 720p. I don't know what it's on 200. I feel like I'm using somewhat outdated settings, but whatever. Also, it indicated I'm maxed out. Again, personal preference. Yeah, so these are the, the gameplay settings. Audio, I use hi-fi because I like the way the gun sounds and explosive sounds. Um, if you want to hear like every footstep and everything going on around you, use war tapes. You'll notice that it boosts literally everything around you, but the guns doesn't don't sound as nice as they do. For the video settings, well, 720p low, 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 mesh you can put to, yeah, you're, bet you're better off running high or ultra, because uh, on low, it'll not render certain objects where people might be hiding, but that's why I use low, because then I can see people hiding behind objects that, you know, don't render in, and if you know the map well enough, you know, you can just like, ah, this, that, that's an, ob you know, object, and, you know, you can even spot them through it, which is kind of broken, but whatever, I don't know because of that. 
Um, key bindings, the personal. I also have, don't have a QWERTY keyboard layout, so, you know. That might be different to you. Anyway, I'll, um, I'll upload these settings. I'll link them below. And then let's go to the user config. The user config doesn't really contain much. I just yoinked it from someone. I like someone gave it and I liked it, so I just kept using it. I know the general things what it does, but anyway, user config can be creative or found in this part or whatever drive you've uh, started on. All these, this one is obvious what it does. Same for um, the game time max variable FPS. And these are all the commands I use. I don't. I think most of these are nice. I mean, I just make sure motion play and stuff are off. As I said, I just, you know, asked Nico and he gave me these. And I really like them, so. I also don't re recommend, some of you might have, um, what is it called? It's render head limit. Um, don't use that command. It's... You can just set it with NVIDIA. And also, in my experience, at least your FPS wise, you get worse if you use the command there. That's why I don't touch the command, I just leave it default. So, yeah, now the next part will be the video control panel. Um, I don't really do anything here. I just, you know, use the, the 3D settings. Just make sure low latency mode is on, on and not ultra. Uh, at least for Battlefield 4. You can override it for, you know, single player games where you're GPO bound, where ultra makes sense to use. Um, so this is basically the render head limits that you can just set in the video control panel. So you know, I recommend setting it here instead of doing the command. Uh, it's up to you, whatever you like. Um, I'll just quickly go over all of them. Again, pause the video wherever you like. You can customize it further. And, well, you can set individual things for Battlefield 4 alone, but I guess... I only play Battlefield 4 really, so... Uh, my resolution, 240Hz, 80p. Um, and, you know, all these settings. I also like your running digital vibrance, which you can probably tell on the video. Um, I've some I've on my OBS on my laptop. I've uh, somewhat filtered it down. Um, so there's still a bit digital vibrance or saturation, but you know it's less than what I see. Um, this for the most part, I think this is a big thing set to display. I believe. I mean that's what works for me. Um, the video colors are just all default. Ah, so that's the NVIDIA control panel. Then I do want to show you this. This is called the MSI utility mode. It's basically for interrupts. Just set your GPU to high, and maybe your USB ports to high as well. I just leave all the others to undefined that I don't use. Or also, don't put audio to low because it will get delayed. Um, I'll also upload this. Um, oh yeah, also... Uh, Battlefield 4, I can find it. Okay, there it is. Um, just disable full screen optimization. I think it's still a valuable, viable option to disable. Um, it's what I prefer. But yeah, for then for the last part of the video, I'll just show my hardware. Um, it's an i5, 8600K, it's 5.3 gigahertz. Um, the voltage that is set in BIOS is 1.37. Um, the Nord Bridge or the Ring clock is 4.7. The RAM is pretty tuned down. The motherboard doesn't really support any thing higher as this, which is a shame, since I do have B-DIRAM. 
I can't really run it on high frequencies because the, the, the model board just says no. I mean, it might be my CPU as well. But uh, my 10 ETI runs basically stock. Also, several SSDs, as you probably have noticed. And I'm gonna quickly disable system reserved because I have no idea why I see this. There's no point in seeing it. Um, yeah, okay. Um, so, these are all like the really specific RAM timings that I use. They're pretty tight for 28,500. They can go tighter, believe me, but I prefer stability over, you know, running it to the, to the edge, to the edge of what's possible. Um, they're not even like to the frequency scan low, but decent. I see also coming on 13 because my Lord says no. Um, Alright, so yeah, the, the VCore 7 bias is 1.37, but the actual voltage that runs through the chip is 1.32 and the load and 1.34 ish idle, so it's, you know, where is it? There it is. No, I don't. The VR out is 1.34. If I'm gonna run. Uh, let me just run Cinebench real quick, not here. Uh, benchmarking Cinebench. Again, I have a pretty golden i5, if I'm gonna be honest. Um, it's, it clocks pretty high. It's, all, it's also deleted, so, you know, if I run a CPU test, it'll instantly see the, the, the actual like voltage top well, 1.33 right now but it can drop even further than 1.32 so that's not really a dangerous voltage in my opinion um for the the oh wait i'm fairly stuck because this thing come on just want to show the temps as I'm sure some of you might be interested in it. Um, I probably passed it to my Pepega. I am a Pepega. Oh, here it is. Yes, uh, the maximum, that's probably not right. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, but I don't think that's <laughs> quite right. Yeah, those are usually 50. I don't know why it's this low right now. Um, does it remember? Go to details. I'll put it to normal. That way you can... Yeah, that, that fixed it. I don't know why it, why it was on, on above normal. So yeah, 50-ish degrees and they're like somewhat heavier loads it reaches until up to 60 degrees. But, you know, it's, it's really nice. Right now. Um, so yeah, that's about it to, for the video, I think. Um, I can show Ida ramp speed if you want, but it's nothing to brag about at all. And again, it's Ida, so it's nice to see numbers, but. Actual real world, real world usage, at least in Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 really doesn't care that much about RAM speed for my testing. So, whereas Battlefield 5 loves RAM speed and timing. So, um, I'll quickly go over BIOS settings that I use for those that are still here, and for those that are still interested. It's become a quite a long video already and just me rambling about stuff. Um, we are CPU clock for 5.3, ring ratio 4.7. I can run 4.9 but it's iffy. I don't think it's fully stable and I don't think it's even worth running that high of a ring ratio. Um, sorry again all these RAM timings here. Uh, you know, these are all the timings, but you know, I've already shown them. 
Like for example, you know, like some eighty one should be an auto. Um, this I can run lower, but I don't do because stability, and I don't feel like it actually helps much. But you know, it's one of those timing. Um, not like calibration turbo. Um. XMP is actually disabled for some reason, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, as I said, the uh, VCAR in BIOS is 1.37, and DRM voltage is 1.44. So relative safe voltages in my opinion. Um, yeah, that's about... Well, actually, the CPU settings. Um, just make sure that C states and power limits are disabled when you overclock, but, you know, that's basic stuff, so. Ah, that's about it, what I wanted to show you guys, and I think this is gonna sum up most questions that have been asked in my comment section for, like, a long time I've always put off. Um, so, yeah, see you guys. Thanks for watching.